uninformed immigrants are at a huge disadvantage in court, in financial and legal matters, and also sometimes in life. Well, what can we do about it? I'll tell you what. We can train, teach, inspire, and empower immigrants to maximize their lives regardless of their immigration status. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. I am your immigration lawyer and host, Otis Landerholm, and this is the Empowered Immigrant Podcast. All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. And welcome to another episode of the Empowered Immigrant Podcast. I'm your host, Otis Landerholm, here at Landerholm Immigration APC. And we are so lucky, ladies and gentlemen, we are so lucky today because we have a guest. We have a special guest, Claudia Conrado, is going to be with us today. She has worked with our office. She's going to tell us and share us a little bit about her immigration experience, all right, going through the immigration process. And so, Claudia, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for um, inviting me to be part of this and maybe help others to get the documentation and be, like, legal here and be successful here and, yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, you're very generous to be willing to give some of your time and and to share a little bit about the process. So tell tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um I'm Brazilian and um I get um married with a Brazilian but who lived here for over um 30 years, so he came really young. And um I have two kids. We have two kids together, and mm-hmm. but we just got married on the 2016, and um, the process would took longer because I didn't had um, the visa when I get in. So, uh-huh. but uh, it was worth it, and uh, I'm so happy that everything went so well, and I had a very like health with the paralegal that you guys had it uh-huh. with. And uh, he always like contacted me, like he answered me quick. Uh-huh. And really like, I feel very, like have someone to support me, the, the, the lawyers supporting me. Even when I was in Brazil, he always like, I'm here, whatever you need. It was like, made me, made me feel like very, okay, I'm doing the right thing. And it was, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very happy now. My life is completely changed with um, the situation. Now I've been going more to Brazil and see my family, mm. able to like work and back to school. I'm doing um, other like things that I, before I couldn't, or well, maybe they charge me more to do it. But uh, I'm very like I can't tell like how. I'm blessed that my life now is like complete with my kids and we we don't have the kind of scare or fear anymore, which is good. That's so great. That's so great. And so can I ask you, you know, your case had some complications. You had to go back to Brazil to finalize it, which always is a little bit of a stressful situation, right? Yes. We don't know what the officer is going to ask. We can prepare as much as we can, but it's like, okay. And so tell us a little bit, like, what was it like that day that you went to your appointment in Brazil? And what did the officer ask you? What do you remember? Yes. Um, actually, I, I was so scared to everything, but it was like the first person who asked me some documentation because we go into two windows. First one, he just asked some documentation, and the next one, uh, I guess, is the consul, the consul, the the person, the, op- the officer. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so first one got my papers and say, "Wow, that's very organized. I wish everyone is like this." Because <laughs> <laughs> The binder's so organized, like easy to get anything, just follow, Good. like perfect. And then um, when Good. I have a 
I mentioned about this, they're like, can I see your binder? And, um, but it's like very organized. You guys very organized. So, Good. and then they, he don't ask anything. And then the, the, the officer was a lady. Um, she was, she able to speak Portuguese, but with an accent, very, yes. able to, um, we able to start talking Portuguese, and then sometimes I answer in English, but she keep on Portuguese. So yeah, um, she just ask um, the name of my husband. Good. And the um, name of my kids, mm -hmm. and the name of my mom and my dad. That's it. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Welcome. They just they just wanted to verify the information, and then they approved your case. Approved Yes, like easy. How wonderful. Like, don't ask anything. And I was so scared because when I tried to get the visa from, so I, uh, they was helping me to put things and I think I put something that is not the right thing. And I was kind of scared if this is going to be an issue. But yeah, nothing. we had to change but it, right. So, they was so nice. And when I lived there, I was like, oh my gosh, can't believe. Amazing. Was, Amazing, like <laughs> a dream come true. Well, well, huge congratulations to you. Um, and so tell us a little bit, if if you wouldn't mind, like what were you looking for in a lawyer? And if there's a you know, like, like what was a little bit about your experience working with my office? Yes. Um, first of all, I came from a different lawyer from yeah. the process. And I was so stressed about this lawyer. And then I was looking for something that the person can take my thoughts. I have a question, a lot of questions. They couldn't answer me. They just give me like with no answer. And uh, to make an appointment was so hard to talk to them. It's like, and I was, and then, and then I was like done. And then I looking for you guys. And then the lady, boom talked to me first. She was so nice. Mm -hmm. And I feel so comfortable and we we make the deal. And since then, the process is like fast. And yeah. the guy working with me directly, he was amazing. He's like, mm -hmm. he knows everything what he's doing. And uh -huh. he was me like, oh, your next step is this. And then it was like, uh, I don't know, was very helpful. And yeah. now more like my process oh, and then that's the reason my process was taking much more fast and I received the NVC letter that for me I was like wow I thought it was gonna take longer but it was so fast. <laughs> so I'm like it was really good. So after that I sent already like a couple family members to you guys because yes. I really trust and I like the way you guys um like can um help and take our like and give some ideas and show how we should um, do and uh, for the interviews and everything the, the papers it makes everything so organized really, like important yeah great great thank you so much you are welcome and, that and so if if there were an immigrant out there who's nervous and if there's an immigrant out there that's thinking of applying for a case, you know, they're not sure, ah, maybe I, you know, maybe this isn't going to work or maybe I'm going to, I don't know, people have all kinds of fear, right? What would be one piece of advice? What would be one piece of advice you would give that person? Well, first, um, get a good lawyer like you guys. Cause nice. That's <laughs> Definitely need a support like that. Knows the 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 um, what's called the um, laws, mm -hmm. in, and uh, find some tools to help. You know, it's all about like documentation. So get all of that and have like a support like you got. Um, the fear is always there. Like we always have the kind of like feeling, but a trust, make the mm -hmm. trust, and um just go it and um like i was the same thing i was kind of like i'm not gonna do and my husband was waiting for this you know and then they i was like, i need to go and then finally but it, 
listen, I got it. I not got a good lawyer. So, mm -hmm. and then later I was feeling like I'm glad that I end up with you guys because I don't know what's gonna happen with the kind of lawyer. So please find a good lawyer. That's the yeah. key number one for me. The good but lawyer. Claudia, Claudia, what if the good lawyer is way too expensive? I don't mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. work, I know. I mean, for sure, I feel like I went to three or four lawyers different and I'll put like a lot of price. You guys took more price than the others. Yes. But I feel something different from you guys than the others. So I don't care about the money. I care about yeah. like family here, my situation. The money's always come and go. It's always yeah. like that. So I and I mean the real question is, you know, is is greater service worth it for you? And and, and if it, if greater service is worth it, then then great, you know. Um, yeah, for for you, I mean, it sounds like you've got a green card. Yes. Right. And so that's uh, like. Citizenship. Next yeah. year, it's like. Yeah. Congrats. I'm, I'm very help, like happy that this country is amazing. Like they give all the support we need for school, my kids. And I have a special needs kids, mm -hmm. you know, and they have everything. So I don't see me in another country, like back to my country now, because I belong, like my kids is here, they need the support here. And I feel like they give my, I'm getting a career. And before I was housekeeper, now I'm mm -hmm. a different um, area and a lot of support and I feel like it's worth it. That's so great. And my documentation be legal and be everything right. Worth it because it feels support. Yeah. That's the, the number one. But the mm -hmm. lawyer needs to be a good one. It needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's thank you for everything that you said. I very much agree with everything that you said. Um, anything else that you want to add? Um, well, the process, my process took a, um, a little bit longer, but mm -hmm. we need patient and take the hope and go it. Yep. Yep. One step at a time, long yeah. process, but yes. at the end it's, it's worth it. Yes, definitely. Doesn't like, I can't explain, don't have a words how feel right now to have everything complete and you know be part of this country like yep. the money doesn't make like if it was twenty thousand, whatever it's worth it because yep. yeah so i'm very yeah. happy i love it i love it all right well claudia thank you so much for your time today thank you for being a guest on our podcast today um, I'm, I'm grateful to have worked with you. You've been a fantastic client to, to work with an absolute pleasure to work with. And so, um, I, I just really appreciate you. Thank you. All cool. right. Have, have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Uh, all right, everybody. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining uh, and we'll see you on the next episode of the Empowered Immigrant Podcast. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Empowered Immigrant Podcast. If you like what you heard and if you want to learn more, please go to LanderholmImmigration.com forward slash podcast.